okay I thought I'd play a 15 minute game I has been one or two days I've been uh, resting a bit from chess I mean I, I was overdoing it uh, let's see how I go on the 15 minute um, uh, yeah I think I was just playing too much blitz and I think I was um, I don't know just just being a bit tied up with things uh, working on chessworld.net as well which I hope you're, you're playing on a little bit turn based chess so um, yeah, a few tweaks there with the messaging um, uh, system um, for messaging the opponent you get this um, move number uh, before the move and also the notes today so we've been doing some programming really this week uh, but yeah I want to be back on, on more you know the regular videos uh, soon it's over the board season as well so um, that's why um, another reason which uh, they tied up for over the board games we look title players who are on while we're waiting Krasacek Krasacek or something it's Ob Krasacek oh he's not playing Kasta Azimperashvili oh no Remnerov I think is playing so um okay so three minutes So the fox, who's the fox anyway? 1987. The fox 1987, no, no, no name on that. Razmov, I'm sure that that seems like his real name. Um, the flags on this version, have I got them? Bosnia and Her hers egg or Vina. This is the uh, Bulgarian flag. Uh, there was a question on the chase actually about flags, which I was able to answer. So I think if if nothing else, you pick up a bit of flag insight um, uh, on these on these servers now. I always thought the ICC should have flags. Chessbowl had flags a long way back because I thought that's definitely in the spirit of Chessbowl, you know, to show the global nature of it. And um, yeah, it's, I think it's a good like little innovation there for the interface to show the flag and the hover over sorting out the hover over as well. Just in case people were wondering and don't know the flag, so um, I, I did put in the search for 15 minutes. It just takes a while. I wonder what the uh, is it my lag or something? Can't be my lag, can it? I'm already. Uh, if I put zero again, you're already in the pool of players waiting to be paired. Um. Okay. I don't know. Shall we make this a five-minute game instead? Been a, been a long wait. I'll make it a five minute game. Um, or a three minute session. <laughs> it's going to be a three minute session at this rate. Is everyone playing on the three minute nowadays where it's not as busy on the. What have we got? Oh, we got 15 minute. Oh, I'll just maximize that. Hopefully, uh, the board is not uh, too bad. Paradigm. Uh, paradigm is like a, a fundamental kind of set of assertions you can have like in program you can have a paradigm shift <laughs> a, a fundamental different way of uh, thinking um, interesting interesting uh, nickname I might do the peace sack line actually um, sometimes it's good fun well in the past anyway it's been a bit good fun um, Let's check his history. Is it really bad? On 15 minute, oh, he has lost one or two. Okay, it's not totally rock solid with wins, which is a good sign for me. Uh, being paranoid about engine abuse online. So, uh, oh, maybe F6 or should I have done B6 there? Whoops. So B6, actually, I think I've done this badly. Because I should have tried to stop, um, possibly Bishop D3, or maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe maybe I'm playing um, Knight C5 or Bishop A6 here. Uh, I'm just going to check the streaming window for a sec. That that board is showing. I'm hoping. Just checking that streaming window. Okay. 
So hi guys, uh, I've seen some of you join the uh, viewing. I'm just just playing a 15 minute game. It's quite civilized. Um, so I think G6, just in case F5, mind you, I'm mixing stuff up now. I mean, I wanted to play Knight C5 and Bishop A6, but am I still going to get the chance? Um, actually, Knight B2, there's Queen here. I don't think that's any good at the moment. Queen C3, just plays Rook B1 or something. Uh, ah, now Queen C3 here. I don't know if that's any good. I suppose I should calculate something. If he takes, takes. If he plays Rook C1, Queen B2, I can escape square. I think Queen C3. If he takes takes here, gives me a chance for c4, maybe d3. It's always fun this dynamic with the piece set. I have lost them over the board this season against Okiki, King's Head, in this piece set line, but it was a fun game anyway. But that that's a league I've been doing well in anyway. I've had like four wins in that, just that loss and draw in that in that league. But it was this piece sack line. He really knew what he was doing with h4 actually early on and getting the rook into the attack. If you get slaughtered on the king side, there's not much you can do. You are a piece down. Something to bear in mind. The line went out of fashion some time ago. Um, so rook b1, yes. What to do here? Bit of a problem. That bishop d7 that would stop something or bishop a6 is terrible knight c5 uh, I think bishop d7 knight d3 not really sure a5 not sure probably gonna get my queen trapped soon but it does support a4 a3 that's interesting weakens b6 so what about bishop d7 I want a bishop d7 um, I can't see too much wrong with bishop d7. I'll play bishop d7. If this knight moves, I've got queen takes d3, of course. If the queen moves c1, he could try and get the queens off. Knight takes d3. Hang on. Takes, takes, takes. Bishop b5. Maybe I, I want to get a rook here or a rook here. I think rook on the c file probably better. Okay. Say rook f3. Am I in trouble? Rook f3? Possibly. Rook c8, bishop g6. End of game. I have to get my queen out after rook f3. Now here, knight takes, knight takes, says bishop b5. If queen takes, queen takes, knight takes, bishop b5. This d4 is going to be loose. There's rook c1 happening now. What about knight takes b3? Doesn't that win a pawn? Rather cheekily, it was knight c4 at the end of that. Queen's getting in trouble, big trouble. But just knight takes to get pressure off this, and then rook c8, rook c1, queen b4. I think I like the look of that. Uh, maybe I shouldn't do. I can't see what else to do. Um, otherwise, d4 is going to drop off pretty quick. Also, it can test the c file anyway. If I take in a rook c8. I stop rook c1, just take, get two rooks off for the queen. I think I'm going to do that. Try and stop rook c1. First task. Rook c, which rook? This rook supports the a pawn, so maybe this one. But then the king side is a bit weakened. I don't know about f5, I'm, maybe just take. So I think I'll use this one. Knight a4, maybe I can just take. Um, do I want to play queen b4, rook c3, possibly? 
Double up rooks. Take it from there. Okay, queen b4 here. Is knights getting dangerous? If the knight comes here, g4, f6, end of game. Apart from that, everything's okay. <laughs> uh, can't go via e4, so what about h5? Probably g4. G4, uh, H4, as G5, not good. Might just King G7 if there's a check. I'll do something on this bishop. A6, bishop B5. If he takes D3, I'm on that. Knight D3. So Rook C3, Knight G4 is unpleasant. I am on b3 though. After knight g4, king. Where can I move this? Bishop c6. I'm getting mated. Knight f6. It's horrible. Yeah. Rook c3. There's takes and bishop b5. Actually, that's interesting. Yeah, I'll go for that. Takes and bishop b5. Get rid of um, some pieces here. Try and get back on the c file. Try and make it an end game scenario. So knight g4 I take and there's knight f6 check. If you want to take this. There might be rook d2 after. If he takes bishop b5 check king g7. Queen moves. I take on f1. Maybe I take on b3. But will I get mated with this huge knight on f6? Probably. It's a shame. <laughs> I'll do it. So knight f6, king g7, knight takes d7, there's rook d2, if queen d3, bishop b5, there's knight f6, king g7. Right. Oh, we're playing queen h3, the exchange up, whoops, I have to defend that. So is the, is the exchange up, that's a shame, I uh, missed queen h3, I thought the knight was dangerous there anyway. So d3, okay, exchange a rook down actually now, a rook down. But these pawns, I don't know if they're dangerous. Um, g4 looks pretty dangerous as well. I think it's going to move that rook. Now d3, I want f4. When he miss f4, I'm hoping he misses f4. I want to take there and there and then munch the knight ideally. <laughs> It's not going to happen. These rooks probably going to come over here. Where is this rook moving? To d1, d3. I think sack the exchange back or something. After d3, he can just play g3 if he wants to protect this pawn. Ah, knight h5 on the cards. That's cruel. Can I defend? I can play bishop e2. Try and defend this. Have check. Bishop g4. I could try bishop e2. I'll try bishop e2, just in case. For d3, if that helps. Kingside. Um. It does in that variation. I just okay. Now it's not helping. I'm protecting h5 for a moment. D3 here. Takes so queen h5. Queen d4, check, king moves d2. I'm not getting hacked immediately, so I think d3. So I can take. Takes queen d4. I'm on f4 here. Um, maybe rook h8, queen g5 to f6. Because otherwise rook h3 for mating. So takes queen h5. Maybe check first king moves, then rook h8. Queen g5. d2. Fronting d1. Uh, rook d1. Hmm. 
This is a rook down situation. I've only got this pawn. And he could actually take that if he wanted to. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to give some problems here, basically. Hmm. Going for the knight up option. But the end game might favour me uh, instead of getting hacked up on the king side. Throw in a check, I think. I to get the back row weak uh, weakened a bit. Uh, so I'll play rook c8 for ending rook c1, queen c1. Oh, queen c2, I would that mind uh, going into that ending with the knight kind of stranded there actually if it's not going to be mating that try, you know a5 try and get um, pressure going with my rook so this is looking a little bit better than just earlier um, so queen c2 on the cards the knight e8 check deflection king f8 I think it's safe enough So he's avoiding that ending. Why didn't I take on f4 when I had the chance just then? <laughs> I could have just taken on f4. Oh dear, oh dear. Come on. So rook, I don't know, rook c3, just trying to win that b3 pawn. Two connected pass pawns. There's queen. Okay, can't move the queen just yet. Rook H3 is a forcing move to make note of if the situation changes later and it's actually useful, but I doubt that. Um, A5 is probably past pawn. Cause it might cause a panic if, if if I win this, but there's Rook C1 and it gets to mate me. Rook C8 mating, so I've got to keep that um, C file locked down. Queen D2, there's always. Rook c2 after that, keeping the queen down to g2. I think a5, b5. What about just a4? He takes and he goes to make me again. Um, so it's a bit tricky now. What about this d pawn? That's another asset. While his queen's locked down to the thing, I think I'll use this. What's the point of b4 anyway? I'll play it here and it takes and rook c1. <clears throat> Is bringing his rook up for the attack? My pass pawn is getting dangerous with his king on the first rank as well. Clearly, d1 is uh, is a threat now. d2 and taking and rook c1 with the king there. That pawn seems quite quick, actually. Um, Diet Coke, yeah. It's not uh, anything alcoholic, I'm afraid. It's just Diet Coke. <laughs> yeah, as you can see. <laughs> um, I think paradigm's a nice word actually, it sounds quite good, paradigm shift. I always thought that was kind of nifty. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that's a pain, isn't it? D2. As long as it takes, takes, he's protecting the knight. What a pain. So, I don't know, rook c4. Um, Maybe rook c4. I'm not convinced. D2 you can just take the end. Oh, I'm on, on that. Hang on, in which case, no, no, d2 takes 
it's not d1 or anything so I think rook c4 here I think so I'm still threatening d2 and queen takes and rook c1 I'm hoping so the situation here is um, two pawns for the knight which is better than earlier just being a rook down um, two pawns for the knight the knight's not contributing to a mating net just yet there's a threat of d2 on the cards what d2 here rook d1 I just take rook c1 on the knight c3 and on d2 the rook moves I take this if the rook moves over here I take that d2 looks good I, mean, I can't see anything wrong with d2 I haven't got bags of time so I think unless I can see any I can't see anything wrong with d2 alright so this, this is uh, promising just taking here now if I take here it takes rook c1 he's got knight c3 be falling into his evil intention. If I just take here, I'm still threatening queen takes and thinking, going round the trap like predator. <laughs> I'm a bit happy about this. Okay. <laughs> so if king h2 is this rookie one, this was unjustified win. He was just a rook up earlier. It just shows the great dynamism of chess and blitz. He's resigned here. 2195. Well, I enjoyed that. <laughs> the comeback. So I was a rook down at one point, but you expect, of course, to be a piece down in this line, a knight down for a few pawns. Um, unfortunately, if white does reroute the knight, generally that spells disaster. White did reroute the knight critically to the f6 square. So basically, this was um, on the last legs of the position with knight h5 and rook g3. Uh, so bishop e2 kind of was good under the circumstances probably and uh, so now I'm just the exchange I'm just the knight down here instead of a rook and it's not so bad for that past d pawn comments or questions on YouTube thanks very much